Google executives, oh, they were so bereaved. They, were, they just couldn't overcome their depression after the 2016 presidential election, which Hillary Clinton, much to their shock and dismay, did not win. People here are uh, pretty upset and pretty sad for uh, because of the election. This election was particularly hard. It was a shock to, to all of us, the results of the election. Can I move to Canada? It was this massive, like, kick in the gut that we were going to lose. What we all need right now is a hug. It works. <laughs> Poor Google, everybody needed a hug. And oh yes, they worked tirelessly for Hillary Clinton. Breitbart obtained a leaked video of a Google conference that took place just days after President Trump's 2016 presidential election victory. A result Google, Google co-founder Sergey Breen didn't like at all. As an immigrant and a refugee, um, I, I certainly find this election uh, deeply offensive. Deeply offensive. Is he offended that the electoral process worked, the Constitution worked, the American people were heard? When we asked Google about the video, a spokesperson did respond. For over 20 years, everyone at Google has been able to freely express their opinions at these meetings. Nothing was said at that meeting or any other meeting to suggest any political bias ever influences the way we build or operate our products. No, Google, that isn't true. You were in absolute dismay. Are you kidding me? And you worked tirelessly for Hillary Clinton. Did you forget? We didn't. And joining me tonight is Charlie Hurt. He's the Washington Times opinion editor, Fox business contributor. It is great to have you with us. And we've got a lot to cover here, but let's start with Sergey Brin, who <laughs> is a fragile child. I, I mean, my gosh, he, it was uh, it was it was kind of sad to see him feeling so morose about. Hillary Clinton's dispatch. He needs a hug, Lou. I think, I think you need to fly out to Silicon Valley yeah. and give him a hug because uh, he's very sad. Yeah, he needs a hug from somebody else, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not in that business. I, I'm yeah, not. no, it, it's truly extraordinary. And, and uh, you know, when you, when you look at uh, the Tucker Carlson had a report out last, uh, last night uh, detailing some of the work that, that uh, Google itself did, people that worked for Google did, to try to get Hillary Clinton elected yeah. by uh, and their effort, as usual, with the Democratic Party, they do it through uh, dividing everybody by race. And, and they had this, uh, this campaign uh, trying to get uh, Hispanic voters to the polls, driving them to the polls and things like that. What came as a huge shock to them was that, that nearly 30 percent of Hispanic voters voted for Donald Trump. And they couldn't believe this. They're so out of touch. They couldn't believe that that percentage of people would turn away from somebody, an awful candidate like Hillary Clinton, and turn toward somebody like Donald Trump, who love him or hate him. The guy was running a campaign that was on yeah. issues and talking about issues every day that He's mattered to regular people. You know, it's a great point because, Charlie, as you know, President Trump was the man, the person, the candidate setting the agenda every single day on that campaign trail with 16 competitors, well, alleged competitors, uh, <laughs> working against him. He was the only one with original thoughts and new ideas and energy and boldness and captured the attention yep. of the American and imagination of the American people. And isn't it amazing to sit here and look at what the press does? You look at what Bob Woodward uh, did trying to compete with uh, Omarosa for all this palace intrigue and all this yeah. nonsense. And they, and they stir, they whip up all of these stories about the, the, uh, what goes on behind uh, closed doors at the White House. And they try to turn it into a soap opera, which is okay, fine. And, and, and maybe the Trump administration uh, gives them some fodder for doing that. But that does not take away from the fact that, it is, that, that his campaign was still the most issue-oriented campaign of any presidential campaign I've ever covered. Yeah. Uh, By the and, way, Woodward missed the story. Totally the story missed is the story. this is a president who did something that had never been done before in American history. And he kept doing that and coming up with new ideas, complete invention, and doing exactly what he said he would do, which is keep his promises, and he has, as a result, done more than any president in modern modern history 
uh, in this country, uh, success, achievement, accomplishment, and has made a difference in the lives of nearly all Americans. And by the way, if that isn't a hell of a story, I don't know what is. I do well, know this. Fear ain't the story. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. And, of course, the real sin that Donald Trump has committed against this whole place uh, and all of these people is that, that when he went in there uh, and delivered his inaugural speech, uh, that was, he, he made very clear he intended to keep every promise that he ran on and got elected on. Charlie Hurt, great to see you. Great to see Thanks, you. Thanks, my friend. Up next.